Oh gee, spoilers! Anyways, hello and welcome to my replacement LP for Saints Row 3. This is your host, Wea Neo, and as you can see, the game is Banjo Tooie, as I announced in my vlog. Um, so quite um quite a change of pace this one is. Um, if you remember Banjo Kazooie, or if you watched my um. If you watch my LP of it, I need to get rid of some games here, because I have files on all these. Yes, I want to delete it. Okay. And, yeah, it's strange that that's still Nintendo 64. But, yes, this is the Xbox version. I will be 100%ing it, or at least trying my very damned well hardest to. Um, but, yeah, um... What more is there to say? This game is quite different from uh, Banjo Kazooie. Um, not a hundred percent different, but it's slightly different. You're still going around mindlessly collecting stuff, as is the major point of the game. But um, it's done slightly different, or there's some things that have changed. But uh, basically, this entire first episode, unfortunately, because of time, is probably going to be just one long cutscene or it's just gonna be entire cutscenes um, so let's get it started I promise second episode is gonna be a lot more action-packed than this one Two years have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground where she remains until this very day. I had to give it an epic narrator voice. I don't know. What? You want me to voice these things? No good, mistress. Still can't shit on rock. <laughs> Gurn, hump, hump. All because of that stupid bear. Yes, indeed, all because of me, the stupid bear. Mumbo play well. Has much of bear's cash. He's right, Kazooie. There goes your birdseed money. Don't be so sure, Banjo. Hey, look outside, everyone. Grunty the Witch is here. Or coming. I don't know. Where, Kazooie? I can't see her. Oh, her false alarm bottles must have been some shadows. She stole her money. Come on, bone face, let's play. I feel lucky. Oh yeah, um this is very out of sync, this opening cutscene. For some odd ass reason on the Xbox version, it's out of sync. Don't blame me. Blame burp, 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 burp. or Grant Kirkhope, whoever you want to blame, just blame them. It's not so much the sounds or anything, it's the music is out of sync. Just to stop rocking the table, your mama making me sick. Oh, bottles. My mama not rock to the table. Whole oh, house she shakes like bo bo bo. Don't stop the rock, you know. Perhaps one of us should go go take take a little look outside. Perhaps banjo, perhaps. Of course, I could skip this all, but what's the fun in that? Now, what on earth? You know what the green gas means. It means bad guys. Hancock. Oh 
no. Hmm. Hurry, Blob Elda. Our sister is waiting. For which she has a manly ass voice. Oh. Quickly, we must go, or angry grunt you will be. And get off me, you must. Or move, I cannot. It's stopped now. I wonder what it was. Sure was noisy. Let's go take a look, Kazooie. But, but it's dark out there, and... Or I'll be scared. Kazooie ain't scared of shit. Mumbo much brave. Me go look outside. Back in a minute. What a sucker, huh? Come on, Banjo. Give me a hand. Kazooie! Cause, you know, Banjo's gotta throw one of those in there. Sorry, mistress, I have failed you. Uh, worry, Grunty mustn't get you out, your sisters will. Big Rock is so powers we must combine. It's a whole lot of Yoda speak. Grunty sisters, you should not mock. Now watch our magic. Blast this rock. I wonder if that was the spell. Oh, you can actually read it. That was the spell. <laughs> wow. What a load of crap. Some epic music for that boulder to be lifting up, I tell you what. Fucking music cues. Learn your shit. Gone rock has, so out you can go. Or whatever she said. I don't know. Couldn't read it. Oh, snap. It ain't over till the fat lady sings, and she did not at the end of Banjo-Kazooie. No, 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 this cannot be. What's happened to little old me? Nice grunty looks. Lost weight, you have. I hate bones. A body I need. Can you help me with this little deed? Oh, blew out her eye. Yes, plan to help we have, so back to our castle we must go. Right then, girls, let's fix me up. Then Banjo's hairy butt I'll whoop. You can always call Grunty's lines. Especially if you've played the game, like, multiple times. That's not good. Let me go tell Banjo. They're looking right at him. Arg, seen as Bony Man has, him we must whack. Leave it to me. He's no hassle. I'll kick butt, then off to the castle. Oh, Grunty. One of the best video game villains of all time. Opinions, opinions, people. Don't argue with me in the comments or something about that. Guess I'll be having that bird scene after all, huh? But you cheated, Kazooie. That's not... Oh, hey, Mumbo. Everyone! <laughs> Must run! Quick! Grunty coming! Are you insane? Revenge is mine, I cannot miss. Let's see that furry fool dodge this! And she's charging her laser! Yeah, yeah, Skull Boy, and I bet she had two heads. Well, she does have two sisters. No joke. Look, spell coming. He's right. Quick, everyone out. I'm not falling for that trick again. I'm staying right here. Bottles, you fool! You fool! Hurry, you must. Ready to leave, we are. Hold on, sis, I'm nearly there. I've just been to blast that bear. I thought she was going to say something about her underwear, but... <laughs> shows how much I know. Troops who will leave. Destroy area they will. Those two are the most common enemies you'll see in this game. Believe it or not. That damn pterodactyl thing, that weird green thing.
Oh man. Stop. Wait for me, mistress. Grunty. No, no, Klungo. You stay here. I'll be back. Have no fear. But she already did come back. And it's a bright brand new day. And the music is still off key. And off sync. Way to go. Unfor fortunately, I like how I started out with unfortunately. This is only in cutscene, so don't worry. It's not through the game. Growing Mumbo's head hurts. Look at her house. Well, at least everyone got out safely. Ain't that the truth. Hang on. Where's Goggle Boy? Oh no. Well, at least he's still alive. Just, you know, blown up and crispy a bit. Uh-huh. Mole looks much unwell. It's worse than that. Grunty's killed poor Bottles. Oh, that son of a bitch. He wasn't the favorite character in Banjo-Kazooie anyway. No, he was not. Kazooie! Sorry. Grunty wreck house and kill Bottles. She must pay. Baron Bird get after Witch. Mumbo see you later. Much later. Great, I get to peck some more Witch butt. Let's go, Banjo. <sighs> I have a feeling it's not going to be so easy this time. And you would be so right, Banjo. It's not going to be easy. Oh, went dark there for a moment. Anyways, you still have all of your moves from previous Banjo-Kazooie. Look, I can still see my old dirt piles. Press B to interact with them to remind you of your original moves. See, so you still have all your, you know, moves you learned in the first one. And you can still go to Bottles Molehills to get a refresher course. Oh, there's Klungo. What's he doing over here? Her, 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 stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Something I really liked about Banjo Tooie was that the uh, music playing right now at this part in Spiral Mountain. It's the old Spiral Mountain theme, but it's in a much lower key, and it's a very solemn, sad version of it, which I thought was just brilliant on their part of music keys. Kick your ass. Who the hell is this mole fuckface telling me what my shit is? Like, honestly. This guy comes out of nowhere. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Because the mole's teaching a buddy up out of here. That is quite possible. One of the lamest jokes I've made in my history of LPing. Anyways, I don't think... Yeah, those don't have anything in them. We go sit in Grunty's hole. She had barely any room down there. Jeez. Collect more red feathers. And as you can see, your items are like categorized in the top corner anymore. They actually have like a list on the side that they uh, are in. I don't know what's a good way to explain that. Fortunately, oh boy. Okay, I thought I was gonna like get my shit wrecked. Uh, I'm looking for a fly pad because I know there's one around here somewhere. Can't get up there yet. But yeah, Spiral Mountain is absolutely demolished, man. Everything's all torn to shit. If we actually come up here, I believe we could get our first of many collectibles in the game. Yes, we can. Gratilda's Lair! Well done. You found one of my missing pages. Collect five, and then return them to me in Grunty's old lair in Spiral Mountain. So every time you collect five Cheeto pages, you can go back to Spiral Mountain and learn a cheat, quote-unquote. I don't consider the cheats in this game as cheats because you have to go through hell and high water to get those Cheeto pages. So I think 
that they are far and away worth it. And even then, some of them aren't really cheats. They're more of upgrades. I mean, the Pirate's Code, it's not so much a code. It's more guidelines. Anyways, let's get on with this shit. God, what am I doing hopping around telling you a bunch of shit you don't care about? Inside the digger tunnel. What? We're leaving Spiral Mountain? Yes, indeed. And this one, you go out into the world. Hey there, Klungo, what's up? Minion with a mission. Oh yeah, if you hear this music, it means boss fight. Her, her, her. If it isn't the bear and bird who caused so much trouble to Mistress Grunty. Hmm. I don't recall anything like that happening. <laughs> her, her, her. You is stupid. <laughs> At least we can speak properly. Her, hey, eh? Klungo is mad now. Your game ends here. Oh, but we only just begun. Shortest LP ever. Man, he's got a red potion. What is that? Oh boy, you're now Klungo squash. Basically, you peck his ass and then he shrinks. And clever Klungo hide behind magic shield. Now show bear my special potion. So then he goes into this and you just gotta, you know, dodge the potions. They're realistic breaking sounds. Ridiculous, man. And I just peck him again. It's literally one of the easiest boss fights in the game, which is kind of expected considering it's the first boss fight in the game. And the first thing you do in the game, jeez. We kicked his ass. Three hits and he's down. Nasty bear and bird hurts poor Klungo. You asked for it. Why don't you run off and we'll forget this ever happened? Yeah, good idea. But you not seen last stuff, Klungo. Klungo coming, mistress. Please beat failure, Klungo, with broomstick. Oh, you mean the broomstick we broke in the first one? <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, let's get out of here. So in this overworld, you could basically just follow the uh, digger, like, tire tracks. And they'll always lead you further into the world. But sometimes it can get confusing because you'll see him like go straight up a 90 degree path up a cliff and you're just like, what the hell? Anyways, this is Jinjo Village. This is one of my silos. Open up more to create a network of shortcut tunnels. These things are teleports between the uh, overworld. This is basically the first room of the overworld, Jinjo Village. It's basically, um, it's your equivalent to Grunty's Lair. It's where you enter all the worlds, stuff like that, and then it's a lot bigger than Grunty's Lair, trust me. This game is far bigger. But anyways, yeah. Jinjo Village, this is where all the Jinjos live that we, uh, freed in the first one. As you can see, there's a lot more colors than what we, uh, were previously known to be. Anyways, I'm going here to our King Jingling's throne room. Badass name, by the way, King Jingling. Like, who wouldn't want to be King Jingling? It's an awesome pet thing. Yo, what's up? I'm King Jingling, king of all the things, Jinjo, and ruler of this village. Your kingdom seems a bit empty. My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. I kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for the kickball tournament next week. Doesn't seem that important to me. But it is. There's a big kickball rivalry between Jinjos and the Moles, which means there could be trouble if we don't turn up. Oh dear. Exactly. Anyways, here's an insensitive for you to rescue my people. And we got our first j Jiggy with the terrible sound. Ugh. I believe you should go and see Master Jiggy Wiggy in his temple now. Jiggy who? Jiggy Wiggy. He's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. Ancient Order, Crystal Jiggy? You just made that up, didn't you? No, honest, it's all true. He's very important to your adventure, as only the Crystal Jiggy can open the worlds that you must enter. Can you show us the way, King Dingaling? <laughs> It'll be my pleasure. King Dingaling. Bottles House. <gasps> Bottles House? We get to go to Bottles House? And we waltz on out. Literally, we waltz our way out. 
Yeah, did you hear how shitty that Jiggy sounded when it showed up? Oh my god. Not bad for a king, huh? Yeah, his strange pet thingy was cool. That's what I keep telling everyone. Let's go find that Jimmy Wiggy then. Man, Benji, you can't remember a name for shit. Meanwhile, at the witch's castle, or insensitively, the last area of the game. Oh, snap. What is this thing? Come on, sisters. Time I left. <laughs> Grunty's not black. What's the plan to get my body back? Annoying your rhyming is, so stop it or we will not tell. Oh, if I must. First dialogue box that isn't rhyming. Er, for Grunty's case. B.O.B. this is. Big ol' blaster built by Mingi and me. Life force from ground. Plants and creatures, it can suck. Damn. Stored in big tank life force is. Shower Grunty will take when tank full. Then new body you will have. It's always about Grunty getting a new body. An evil and heartless plan. I like it. How long will it take to suck up enough life force? Not slim you are, so plenty we will be needed. So start blasting! Patient you must be. Target you first must pick. Nice cat. Mm, that cursed jingling has just given the furry fool a jiggy. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. Blast the Jinjo King. Auto-targeting B.O.B. has button. You only have to press. Yes. Press. Suck. It's Mega Mate! She's gone from suck to blow! <laughs> Warmed up B.O.B. is, so begin with the firing sequence. It's sucking all the life force out of him! A much more eviler plan than in the first one, wouldn't you say? Sucking the life force out of people? Target B.O.B. has hit. Steal life force he will. Unlucky B.O.B. was bear we just missed. Yeah, imagine if we were in there. Never mind him. What about that traitor, Jingling? He's a zombie! Ha ha ha. He's just a zombie now. Successful B.O.B. was. Jingling's life force we have. Right then, girls. Let's blast the whole island. This we can do, but big charge up B.O.B. will need. Hours it will take, and revenge bear will seek. Puh. I wouldn't worry. Banjo's got no one to help him now that Mole and Jingling are gone. He'll never get to us in time. A few hours? Challenge accepted. Anyways, this is probably going to be the conclusion of first episode. I told you it was all cutscenes. From here on out, we actually don't have a cutscene for a while. But I want to show you something cool. If you go back in here, Zombified Throne Room. If you attack King Jingling, you keep attacking him over and over again. And he eventually gives you secrets about the game, stuff like that. Although most of the time they're like riddles, so you gotta have to figure them out, but they're pretty interesting. If you can get him to say one. Asshole. 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 Dr. Asshole's castle. I hear Terry's wife left him recently. So his little uns are all he has left. He's very protective of them. That is a reference to my least favorite world. Absolutely hate that world. Hate it, hate it, hate it. I'm gonna 
break your body. Come on, work that body, work that body, work that body, work that body. Man, you can't do shit against me. I'm too good, I'm too fast. And that's how I'll beat Shaq. Okay, anyways, besides beating the shit out of King Dingling, we might want to, uh, you know, get on with the adventure. Old King Cole? Oh yeah, he's a right one. That's a reference to a boss we are going to be fighting in the second world. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the first and exciting beginning of Banjo-Tooie. Things only go up from here, just like... Mm, <laughs> okay, I was going to make a reference to something really gross, but, you know, I figure you guys can probably live without it. Okay, I was going to say, like, my wiener in the morning, but, you know, enough of that bull honky. Ah, I'm so gross. I'm so disgusting. Should not be LPing. Shouldn't even be allowed to do this stuff. Goodbye. And Godspeed. <laughs> That's not an outro. What are you doing, man? Come on. Get your shit straight. Work that body. Kazooie, don't even try it. I saw her poke her head out. She wants to do it. She wants to hit me in the head again. Oh. Now she's done it. Anyways, this has been your host, as always, Wee Neo. I will see you next time with hopefully one less sexual innuendo equaling zero and two less cutscenes equaling zero. Hopefully. Anyways, like I said, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.